hi everyone, and if you have Windows 11, then you have already installed Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel on your computer, and these are free programs. In this video I will show you how to use them. Watch the video to the end, put like, write comment and subscribe to the channel. We begin. What are we going to do next? As I said, you already have free Microsoft Word and Excel installed on your computer. In fact, there are many free programs installed, but in this video I will talk about Word and Excel. So, you don't think I am joking, now I will prove it. I click on the start button, all applications and in this list of applications I look for the office program and open it. And now let's be honest, what is the office application today? In 2022 Microsoft has three types of Microsoft Office applications. First, there is a classic application that you use it to install on your PC. Second, this is also an application Office 365. This is an online Microsoft Office such as Google Docs in which you can create or edit any text documents via the internet that are on your computer or in the cloud. The third application is our Office application. This is exactly what a free Office app is which is built into Windows 10 and Windows 11. The free Office app is an Office 365 app that is available available online, but it is a little curtained. In the beginning of video I said, on your computer there is a free program that can open Word and Excel files, that is, I said Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel. And the Office application has all these programs, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, Teams, Note, Todo, Todo is Wonderlist app, Calendar, Skype and others. You are already familiar with some of these programs, all of these programs are part of the Office application. Here is the list of document. Here you can upload Word or Excel files and you can open them through the appropriate programs and edit. Now I will show you how it looks. In the list of document you see files. I click open one of them. Now the browser loads. I need to sign in to my Microsoft account. I enter username and password and after this the document opens. The Office app is the same exact program, ok, I'm not joking, but almost like Office 365, but it is a bit stripped down. Some features are completely hidden here, for example alignment. I select the text, align to the right. As you can see the text is aligned. I need to change the color. I need to change the background. If you want to underline, italize it. Make italic or bold text, please. Reduce or enlarge the font, easily. All those basic functions that we are used to, all of them are in this program. And of course, those people who work very hard with documents, they will find something to be dissatisfied with. And guys, I'm not even going to argue, you are right. The free office application is very difficult to find certain functions. Either these functions are hidden somewhere or they are not here. And if I don't have the right file here, I can create it and paste the information. For example, you see here all my word files and I want to create an excel file. Therefore, I should just click on the shortcut for the excel application and I can create a new file. I created a new file and it's called new blank workbook. If I click on the top and I can create the file too. In the right corner of the screen you see a small unremarkable arrow. I click on it and I can choose the classic interface of the program. In general this is exactly the same tape as I have on desktop versions, but the functionality is still truncated. There are some functions, some are not. Everything is beautiful, of course, like my new desktop wallpaper, but our free word program has its drawbacks, of course. If your internet connection is slow or your internet access is poor, the office application may be slow. And the second big drawback is that I turn it off the internet and now I will show how the application works. I click on the start button, all application and office. The application opens, but you see, I have a list of files. Will I able to open them if I don't have internet? I open the document and I get notification that we can't find this site. 
But if you want, you can buy the classic Office application to install on your computer. And this is where the video comes to end. Thank you all for watching this video. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all and goodbye.